thank you for your patience as we continue to try to provide you with some timely updates. But again, the most important thing is that we get you accurate information. Uh, as I said earlier, this is a changing dynamic. Uh, we gave you um, a number of victims. Uh, we've actually discovered additional victims since then. So I'll, I'll give you a brief update on that and then kind of tell you where we are at this stage of the investigation. Uh, as we discussed earlier, we had a report uh, about 537 this afternoon of a shooting occurring at this location behind me, at 1900 block of Thomasville Road. Uh, emergency responders were here within minutes, about three, three and a half minutes. The, the first officers arrived on scene. Uh, when they arrived, the gunman was deceased on scene. And we had, at that time, we had now have identified six uh, other victims that received gunshot wounds. And then we also have a victim who was actually pistol whipped. Uh, there are indications that several people inside fought back and tried to not only save themselves, but other people, uh, which is a testament to their courage uh, of the people who don't just turn and run, but the strength of our community and the spirit of those people of trying to help and, and save and protect others. Uh, so uh, that, that's an updated information at this point. Uh, the Tallahassee Police Department has interviewed more than 40 witnesses to the incident. Uh, we are working the crime scene is being processed and we've collected different uh, pieces of evidence and we continue to work on that. That'll take several more hours at this time. Uh, our victim advocates are working and providing support for our immediate victims and their families as well and trying to help connect people to their family members and who have been, who were here on scene. Uh, at this point, Although we are not releasing the identity of the gunman, we have tentatively, tentatively ID'd the gunman and we are working diligently to try to link a connection between him and any of the victims. Again, looking for a, a motivation or cause or, or what precipitated this attack uh, up on our community and, and the people that were inside. So th that's the update that we have at this point. Again, and I would ask that anybody who was in the area between 5 p.m. and 6 p.m. that may have seen something that they thought was unusual or suspicious, please contact us. The more information we have, the better. The better chance that we have of, of getting answers and resolving this situation quickly for our community and the victims and helping them put their lives back together. That's the main focus for us right now is putting the pieces together, getting answers for them and answers for our community. Can you tell me there was a report that uh, the person who had been pistol whipped was perhaps the last person before he took his own life? I don't know as far as the detail of that, the, the actual link of that part of it. Okay. Then, yeah. Could I clarify again? I just, I, okay. I, just, I, nope. just I, I want to be especially cautious. So we now have six gunshot victims, and then we yes, have sir. the seventh person who was pistol whipped. Yes, sir. And then I'm assuming that the, the suspect, the shooter, is not part of that seven. No, sir, at this, at this okay. point. So it's a total of seven now? Yes. Okay. Do we know if anyone has lost their lives so other we, than the shooter? Yeah, at this point, we have two two people have passed away from their injuries. Uh, okay, wait a minute. So, Including no. the shooter? Or? No, in addition to the shooter. So, so that now is a, okay. Yes. I'm okay. sorry, I, yes. And they're included in that six? Yes. Okay. No, we, so we have the, the gunman is deceased. Uh, I apologize. Earlier, we reported that you know one victim had passed away. Um, we have had another victim pass away at the hospital from the injuries that they sustained, and then there are four additional people that had suffered gunshot injuries. And then we had the one gentleman that had that was pistol whipped during the struggle. So six shots. Yes. One pistol whipped. Yes. In the suspect. Yes. Area. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Right. We know is the shooter from Tallahassee. At this point, we're not releasing any of the detailed information. That's a very important that we have a very small time frame to build that pieces, those pieces of the puzzle together. Um, so it's right now it's trying to identify, make sure that, as like I said, we ten, we have tentatively identified him. We're you know trying to get that positive identification. This, this can be a challenge sometimes. So we have to do that first, and then start drawing those connections together between him and the victims, and then him and our community. There was a report so that. Could, he walked to the door, walked in, walked out, was fidgety. Uh, I, I don't have any of the details of the, those investigations from different, from the different witnesses. Has been uh, transported to the hospital? No, sir. Still on scene? Yes. Okay. How long might that take before he leaves? 
and like I said, we'll be here working that scene for hours collecting evidence. So. What okay. kind of gun? Can you say? Don't, nope. Don't have those. I, I don't have those details. So. So right. one more time, you said six shot to deceased. Yes, ma'am. Do you know the condition and of the other four? And that includes the shooter, the gunman. No, the no. gun, the gunman is a, a would be a third deceased. Okay. Have you spoken with the mayor at all? I, I have I have not spoken with the mayor directly. I know the, the, I've updated the city manager several times. I know the city manager has has been in direct communication with the mayor. Hey, but you talked to the governor, right? Excuse me. The governor said he talked to you. Did the governor call to, to offer any assistance? Okay. Yes. Do you know the condition of the other four? The last uh, update I had is that they were in critical condition. So. Do you anticipate right. any more updates throughout the night? Or? A lot of it will just depend on the, the flow of information. The, the, like I said earlier, the main focus for us at this point is identifying the, the suspect, positively identifying and, and really identifying what his link is to our victims and, and the community. So and that way will help the other pieces fall into place. We'll be able to see you tomorrow to get an updated information. Well, there will definitely be updates tomorrow. Yes. With you or someone in yes. person? Yes, okay. most Great. likely me. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Thank you. I guys, appreciate it. You do plan on being... Uh, on scene tonight for oh, several more hours. We're going to be, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Oh, yeah, I didn't think about that as an option. Yeah. So the gunman is deceased. Yeah. So we have two of the other victims are deceased. Yeah. Yeah. And then we have four other gunshot victims. Yep. So there's four shots. Well, well, six shot. The, the, two that, the two that are deceased were shot as well. Okay, gotcha. And one pistol whip. Right. Correct, so that would be seven total. Seven, seven total. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. I mean, he's fine. Uh, yeah, I mean, relatively. Right. I hate to say he's fine. Right. Between his experience, uh, you know, with, with he had a witness and, like I said, but.